All right, hello, wine drinking people. We are back. Co fermentation, word of the day. Okay. Well, just one supplier in the store yesterday, uh, Matt from Noble Wines, and a new wine for me uh, with some vineyards coming from Monterey and from Santa Barbara in this Bianchi uh, winery, Bianchi Vineyards. Uh, you know, I don't know the family, I guess, fourth generation grape growers in California. I don't know how I missed this one because the wines are pretty good. And they're really nice little values, you know, something we always like to find here, a nice value, something that over delivers. And uh, all of these wines had lovely balance. And, uh, you know, for $14, $15 a bottle, really nice little values. First up was a Sauvignon Blanc from Monterey. And uh, this wine had that lovely fresh melon and fig kind of fruit on the nose with a slight briny character to it. And uh, white flowers also. Nice complexity there. And uh, nice ripe melon and passion fruit kind of fruit on the tongue. A little fig in there as well. And a good amount of stuffing here in the mid palate for wine at this price range. Nice freshness. A big Sauvignon Blanc. Lots of ripe fruit but still balanced. Really nice little value there at 14 and a quarter. All right, next up the Chardonnay from Santa Barbara County. So it went from Monterey down to Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, they have a cooler growing climate there than almost anywhere in California, even though it's far south. The mountain ranges run east to west in this part of California, so you get that cool influence of the Pacific Ocean. And uh, this wine had some lovely fresh apple and pear, kind of juicy fruit on the nose, a touch of vanilla bean spice and a hint of creme caramel, ripe and juicy on the tongue with just a whiff of spice, cinnamon, and a nice rush of acidity coming in on the finish, but the focus on the ripe tropical fruit. Very good little Chardonnay for $16.25. All right, next uh, to Paso Robles. Paso Robles is about three or four miles north of uh, Santa Barbara, and uh, they make very good Bordeaux varietals here. This Cabernet Sauvignon um, is a uh, pretty forward and fruity style like you find in Paso Robles. Not quite as serious and age-worthy wines as you get in like Napa Valley, but lovely forward fruit, black currants, cassis berry fruit, a hint of dark, dark chocolate and kind of sweet herbs here, and a really nice forward fruity style of Cabernet on the palate, smooth tannins, touch of tobacco spice on the finish, but a really good little wine at $19.25. All right, and then the little Mansa, the Petite Syrah, that's right folks, these wines can be wild, Sauvage! as the French call. This is from Plumber Vineyards. This is a vineyard that they don't own. They buy the fruit from. Dark spices, cocoa, bittersweet chocolate, cigar wrapper, blueberry, blackberry fruits on the nose. And uh, wow, really nice little uh, wine on the palate. Big and chewy, but still really balanced. That savage kind of animal note showing through on the finish. Gritty tannins and a host of black spice. Really nice, big petite Syrah, $22.25, like I said, a little monster. All right, well, next up, we had our California Cabernet tasting at Cafe Max. We'll let you know all about the California Cabernets that we drank coming up next. <laughs> 